All right, guys, welcome back to Survival Living here. So we have another object that was shot down. This time here, uh, U.S. military shoots high altitude object over Lake Huron on Sunday. Now, guys, there's an article here for you. Uh, this, of course, is from the Communist News Network, CNN. Uh, U.S. military shot down another high altitude object over Lake Huron on Sunday afternoon, according to U.S. officials and congressional source briefed on the matter. Guys, I don't know what these things are. They keep on saying unidentified object, like they're hinting away from balloons. Uh, I don't know, we're getting reports of a cylindrical, silverish, gray object. Now, a lot of things are floating around online, and I'm trying to entertain the ideas as much as possible because the fact is, I'm not there, I did not see it, so I don't know what it is. The new push I'm seeing from alternative news sources, conspiratorial news sources, and there's nothing wrong with this because they could be correct. Like I said, I'm not there. Is the Tic Tac, uh, the unidentified flying object naval pilots was chasing a while back. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. There should be a pop-up of a screenshot of that video because it's cylindrical. All right. And because the word phrases were cylindrical object, everybody's attached to it being the Tic Tac, which was everyone believes is either a highly advanced military aircraft or aliens. Now, I'm not here to discuss if aliens are real or not. I've seen some weird shit in the skies myself, but I don't know what it was. So me personally i don't believe we are the only intelligent species in all of the galaxies and solar systems it kind of makes earth a very lonely place but to each their own and their own beliefs and things like that i want to go back to these balloons these objects and make sure i say it correctly because if i say it wrong i get people that like to correct me i think they're balloons that's what i think that's what I think, guys. Uh, if you guys have not been over to Green Greg's channel, please check that out. Uh, this man actually used to build these balloons. He used to build these balloons with payloads with rockets to be fired off of them. He's got a lot of knowledge on these balloons. Now, my main concern with these objects floating into our airspace was EMP weaponry. Well, after listening to what Green Greg's had to say about these things, um, I'm not thinking that these are EMP weapon balloons, so everybody can calm down, prepare, prepare as much as possible, of course. But I'm gearing more that these are not EMP weapons, mainly because that first one, the size of it, it could carry an EMP weapon. It could carry like 2,000 pounds. These smaller ones, the size of a car, a small car, they're not big enough to carry the weight needed to use a EMP weapon. So I think that threat has dropped down some as far as these being a delivery system. Now, is it possible to use balloons for EMP weapons? Yes, it is. But I'm gonna go ahead and redirect you to Green Greg's channel. He has the knowledge of the actual requirements necessary for the size of the balloon, how much, how large it has to be to carry a certain amount of weight, He's an expert in the field, in my opinion. So these small cylindrical objects, the new narrative being pushed across the platforms, and also Fox had a video with the TikTok in the background, predictive programming, whatever. Uh, I think they're balloons. I do. What type of balloons? What, what type of payload do they carry? I don't know. Because that information is not being released to the public. What I can tell you is to always prepare. That's what I can tell you. Always be stocking up, always be rotating your stock, always be looking for that edge for when shit does happen, you're not standing in front of the fan, okay? That way you and your family are secured. Now, like I said, I don't know what these things are. I still prep accordingly like something major could happen. As much as we know, all these balloons could have been released at the same time and just now catching the 
jet stream coming in. The first balloon that they took down to South Carolina uh, had mobility, had propulsion. They, they could move this thing around. These new cylindrical objects, they're reporting that they have no propulsion, so that they're just drifting. The Tic Tac, the Tic Tac, with the naval pilots, that thing can maneuver, freaking outrunning everything, doing all kind of crazy maneuvers and everything else. These are not doing that. This is why I'm not thinking it's an alien aircraft or advanced military aircraft, as far as the Tic Tac video. Uh, tic Tic Tac video. Damn you Chinese coming out with Tic Tac. Yeah. So anyway guys, take it as a grain of salt. I'm just bringing the news that we have another object that was taken down. Again, is this misdirection? You know what? I don't know. Everyone's like, you know, even I say I think we're being misdirected from somewhere else. But, if there is a aerial threat, there's things in our skies that don't belong there, we need to know. Is this a precursor to something major coming? Is this surveillance equipment trying to see more and more about us? Now I know China has satellites. We don't even know whose balloons these are or these objects. We don't know whose they are. That's all they ever say. They don't know the origin. They don't know the ownership. They don't know anything. All they know is that they scrambled and knocked it out of the sky. That's all of them so far. They haven't. They know more. Of course they do. That it's not really in the information to us. Anyway, guys, just want to keep you updated on that. Um, I'll, I'll keep you updated when I'm hearing more and more stuff on this. I don't know what it is. I believe it's man-made. We'll keep an eye on it. The fact is, if it is a foreign government doing this, they're invading our airspace. Could lead to an act of war could. All right, guys, let's keep on prepping. Speak to you later.